An ultra-conservative country, Saudi Arabia is widely believed to enjoy the upside of a traditional community, close-knit families. But studies and stats draw quite a different image of the kingdom, where its social fabric is disintegrating at a frantic pace. Right now, Riyadh is suffering from the double whammy of low marriage and high divorce rates, each of which with far-fetching consequences have remained intractable. Once a rare phenomenon, celibacy has now become a disturbing trend in Saudi society. The most recent figures indicate that more than 5.26 million people in Saudi Arabia, including 3 million men and 2.26 million women, remain unmarried. Meanwhile, the average age of unmarried men in the kingdom is 40 and of unmarried women, 36. It seems that uh, the trend for celibacy in uh, Saudi-occupied Arabia is rooted in uh, issues of uh, fetishes and media, uh, Western media penetrating Saudi society. So the watching Western media and uh, seeing the supposed uh, ways of relationships or marriage uh, have affected uh, how Saudi society uh, relates to each other, men and women. Whereas a wide variety of reasons accounts for this phenomenon, from social background to the influence of social media on the younger generation and their expectations of marriage and life in general, there are still much primitive obstacles in the path of nuptial bliss. For example, customs and traditions some of them dating back to the pre-Islamic times. Some families will not marry their youngest daughter until the eldest one has gotten married, or some greedy guardians who want to grab a woman's salary will not allow her to get married soon, according to Saudi Gazette. Another common obstacle is the high cost of marriage formalities, including the payment of a dowry, the purchase of gold, and the expenses of the marriage ceremony among other things such as housing. The average dowry for middle-class families in Saudi Arabia is 30,000 Saudi rials, or $8,000, but it can be hundreds of thousands of rials for the wealthy. According to Al Arabiya, 74% of young people in Saudi Arabia see dowry as one of the most important reasons for late marriage. In addition to a rather widespread lack of interest in marriage among the younger generation, Saudi society is being threatened with yet another plight, high rate of divorce. Despite all the campaigns against divorce, more than 53,000 divorces take place in Saudi Arabia every year. That's why the kingdom has a population of less than 35 million. Hardly believable in the third millennium, one of the most common causes that lead to divorce is that in some cases, the husband does not see or speak to his wife until the wedding night, according to many credible sources. In a recent report by Gulf News, the coronavirus pandemic has worsened the divorce problem in Saudi Arabia. In February alone, the divorce cases rose by 30%, reaching at a record 7,482 after the quarantine caused many wives to discover that their husbands had other wives and families. According to the Saudi Ministry of Justice, 52% of divorce requests and cases during this time were from the cities of Mecca and the capital Riyadh. 
Among the cases are female doctors and business women who before the pandemic had to spend much of the day at work, according to Oka's newspaper. Meanwhile, in a patriarchal society like Saudi Arabia, in case of divorce, women will be the most affected, mainly due to negative attitudes towards them as divorcees. So you have those two, two things that are pushing for higher divorce rates. One is that people intermarriages and have this uh, idea of what marriage is and, and marital life based on Western media and it doesn't relate to their experience uh, and uh, because of the inequality between the, the sexes and respect and then you have added to it the ultra-rich uh, strata that uh, uses marriage uh, you know uh, firstly you know enters into marriages and divorces it and adds more marriages as if uh, it's a game. Last but not least, Saudi authorities are concerned about the future of the kingdom's demographic composition. In addition to low marriage and high divorce rates that would adversely affect the population size, low fertility rate would affect the population age in the decades to come. To have a child, it's a huge investment that requires a lot of money and the collapse in Saudi economy uh, over the last 30 years uh, meant that uh, the support from the government has evaporated, prices of things are much more expensive. While Saudi women were giving birth to seven or more children on average in the late 1980s, since the early 2010s, that figure has dropped to less than three. There are about 10 million Saudis under 35 who in 20 years will be facing retirement. Given the aforementioned trends, it is very unlikely for the Saudi Kingdom to face no demographic problems in the future. The cultural influence of the West, especially in countries that are part of the imperial domains like Saudi Arabia, is, is huge. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the specific problem in Saudi society is the, the how contradictory it is to the traditional Wahhabi uh, authority that is there. So you have an extreme uh, variation between what is the uh, populist watching from the West that is influencing them culturally and what is the elite in, in Saudi uh, are, are pushing for their for their population to control. So that is different than what the rest of us in human uh, life are experiencing of, of cultural colonization from the West because the contradiction is so extreme. So expectations are not meeting uh, the reality on the ground in Saudi Arabia and that is definitely causing psychological problems of how to relate to family life and marriage and children and so forth. Even though the media propaganda has partially helped the Saudi crown prince cultivate an image of himself as a reformist, the fact is his superficial and spurious reforms would not save the kingdom from an array of challenges that threaten the nucleus of society. Celibacy, high divorce and low fertility rates are all distressing symptoms for any society. Without real reforms, Saudi society will have a really hard time in the future.